Welcome back family. This is another Forex lesson. We are on lesson number five and in this video I'm looking forward to get to explore uh, some of the most important things that I, you should consider when it comes to Forex trading and anyone may it be a beginner or even a pro trader has to follow exactly what I'll be showing you since uh, this is kind of the blueprint or even the framework uh, anyone uh, who is looking forward to becoming a successful trader should always uh, follow or even focus into. Uh, before getting to that, uh, my name is Willie and in this channel we get to focus on ways that you can start making money online. We also are um, passionate and determined to uh, take you through the journey of forex uh, trading. Uh, we get to give you an insight or even basic steps that you can get to follow so that you find yourself uh, becoming a profitable trader. So far I've been doing trade, uh, forex trading for one year now and um, I'm willing to take you through that journey and of course to share what I've been learning along the way. Uh, before you get into that, if you are new to this channel, it's very very crucial to hit that subscribe button. Also turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss any of our new lessons that we'll be uploading here. And whenever we get, we have them out there, at least you'll be the first one to be notified. And without wasting any time, let's just go ahead We just uh, allow the intro to roll and I'll see you on the other side. Welcome back and as I already told you, we'll be looking into a millionaire trader checklist. Uh, this is whereby I'll be taking you through uh, every stage that uh, you should uh, focus your efforts so that uh, uh, in order to become a pro trader, there's a specific way you should uh, uh, follow or even uh, the same way if you are to read a book, you have to go through the content, the, the content list so that uh, you don't find yourself mixed up and uh, so that you get to follow every stage. That way what we'll be looking into and I've prepared a checklist which uh, I have been following and I'll be showing you every stage what you need to do and I'll also be explaining a bit into details what is expected on every stage. And to do that I'll just uh, request you to take a pen and a paper and write down what I'll be, we'll be looking into since uh, this is something you have to follow. If you have to become a profitable trader, trust you me, you must follow these things, it's very, very important. And on our list, on our checklist, number one is whereby you have to understand the basics. I'm talking of whereby you need to understand terms which are used on uh, when it comes to forex trading. We are talking of uh, terms, uh, for instance, uh, on our previous video, we talked of things like uh, pips. We also looked into things like, like uh, currency pair. Those are some of the basic things that you must understand so that uh, you have an easy time moving forward. And uh, once you get to understand basics, uh, now you feel confident to move to the next next stages whereby you have uh, to understand technical analysis. In our future videos, we'll be looking more detail into technical analysis and I'll be taking you more into details and every segment that you need to understand when it comes to technical analysis. And under, under technical analysis, we'll be looking into such as uh, we have the chart patterns, you also have the candlesticks, uh, we also have uh, things such as uh, uh, we have the EMA, the moving averages. We'll be looking into those, uh, but later in, as we get to proceed uh, further. So step three is whereby you'll be expected to understand technical analysis. And let's proceed into step three is whereby we are talking of strategy. I'm sure if you are if you're a person who is passionate and uh, is uh, uh, eager to understand about Forex, you, you must have people say, uh, they normally use this strategy to trade and uh, you have to get to understand the technical analysis is whereby you get to compose or even you get to bring together some of those uh, uh, elements that you get to understand on analysis and you get to come up with a strategy. A strategy is basically uh, how or even some rules that you get to follow uh, whenever you get to do some trading. So uh, that's step three whereby we get to understand about strategy. Uh, step four is whereby you need uh, to do some back, back testing uh, for the strategy for that strategy and allow me just to highlight this one so that uh, as you get to proceed you get to see exactly what I'm talking about uh, so far we are on stage 4 whereby we are talking of back testing this is whereby you get to take time uh, try out your strategy you get to master your strategy and of course you get to understand uh, how far can you go with that specific strategy whether it's a winning one or it's bringing losses or whether you need to adjust. So that's stage four whereby you need to do some back testing. Uh, stage five is whereby 
uh, you need to optimize. By optimizing is whereby you need uh, to adjust a few areas, one or two areas, uh, when it comes to the strategy that you have already been back testing, whereby you get to see uh, on this area it's making me to lose losses, I need to adjust this and this, I need to change this rule. This rule works at a specific time. That's what we mean by optimizing your strategy. Stage six is whereby we are talking of the most important things and uh, this is something that normally, uh, it normally messes so many beginners, uh, so many beginners when it comes to uh, trading and we are talking of risk management plan. It's normally said, it's very, very important to always not to risk more than 1% of your account per trade. I'm talking per every contract that you get to come on board, uh, 1% is enough and uh, at some, at sometimes, especially if you are a beginner, you can do 0 0.5 uh, per every trade that you get to uh, to activate. Risk management is one of the things that are uh, uh, poor. Risk management is one of the things that cause people to blow out their account. So it's something uh, you should never, never ignore. So uh, we'll be looking into all those stages as we get to proceed further. I found it it's uh, it's important to have this list so that uh, every time you get to do a video. You, at least you get to understand we at least we are on this stage so stage seven is whereby i'm talking of uh, you get to uh play around with your demo and uh setting up a demo is totally easy and i'll be showing a video on how you can get to set up a demo as you get to proceed uh further demo uh trading on a demo it's very important and it's crucial for you to uh to make mistakes also uh, it helps you when it comes to back testing your strategy at least if you can get to back test your strategy before getting into a live account you'll have some confidence and of course it gives you that space to keep making mistakes till to a point you build some confidence so stage seven is uh, demo trading and of course the last one and the most important uh, for you to becoming a pro trader is uh discipline discipline is some is something uh anyone uh anyone who has been on the game uh, any trader will tell you you must have a discipline and discipline i mean whereby you get to stick with a rule you don't have to keep uh jumping from one strategy to the other discipline is whereby you get to analyze your market and of course once you get to put your strategy in place you must have the discipline to uh to follow the rules and of course to wait for the results as you as you had a um, uh, build up uh, that uh uh, as you get uh, once you get to follow those rules you get for the to wait for the results you don't have to come out out of the uh, out of the trade before uh, you get to hit your losses or even you get to hit your profit that's what you mean by discipline so that's something very very important and hopefully you have made that list and of course make sure it's somewhere that you'll be seeing it over and over so that uh, you it, it acts as a, resume, as a reminder of where we are doing and uh, where we are heading to so that's what I had for you today. Hope uh, you found the video of value and educative to you. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell, and hopefully I'll see you in the next episode.